Um, okay, health food time. Move over quinoa. It's Caniwa's time in the spotlight. Okay, good. I said it correctly. Caniwa is <laughs> high in protein, high in fiber. It's gluten free. Amy Buckman from Amaranth Market is here this morning talking about uh, the latest health food trends of 2016. And Caniwa is kind of right up there. A lot of people are talking about this right now. It might be something that people haven't seen before. Yeah, well, okay. So, and you brought a, a bag by bag comparison for mm -hmm. us. To, and I know this one here, you were kind enough to point out this is quinoa. Right off the off the front here, which I think most of us have had by now, mm -hmm. but caniwa right beside it is much smaller. The grain is really super tiny. Yeah. So this one here is amaranth, and you can and amaranth is one of the tiniest grains. Okay. And they're very similar in size. Yeah. yeah. And and taste wise, if I'm going to eat this, what like what what can I expect? It's similar to quinoa. Oh, okay. Yeah. It has a similar flavor to quinoa. Quinoa has a bit of a. Uh, coating on the outside that yeah. has to be rinsed off very well before you cook it or it can be a little bitter. Okay. And caniwa doesn't have that, so it's oh. easier to prepare. Oh, that's always yeah. good when it's easier. Okay, so caniwa is one of those things you might want to try um, this weekend, for, in, perhaps. Uh, in the middle here, what do you have in the bowl? Because this looks interesting. These are tiger nuts. Tiger nuts. And they're not actually nuts. They're And they're not seeds. They're oh. a tuber. So they're like a root from the ground. Oh, okay. And the outside of them is very much like a root. It's kind of hard and tough. Not crunchy, but tough. Okay. It's very high in fiber. And the inside is reminiscent of like cookie dough. Oh. And it just grows in the ground. It hasn't been roasted or salted or anything. So you just kind of eat it, like pull it out, wash it, and eat you it? You don't even wash it. Oh. You just eat it. And um, they are really, really high in fiber, so yeah. good for blood sugar balancing, and they're tasty, and they provide all that fiber that's really good for those good bacteria. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Tiger nuts. I like the mm. name of that. Okay. And what do we have at this side of the table? So bone broths have been bone making broths. a big uh, appearance in the last few months yeah. uh, for people who may not have heard of them or or uh, consume them before. This one here is actually made right in Calgary, the Oso Bueno. Oh, okay. And that's a bison broth there. Yeah. And uh, one of the, I mean, there's a lot of great things about bone broth, but one of them is that it's really full of collagen. And collagen is very good for joint health and um, reducing inflammation. It's good oh. for your skin and hair and nails. Great. It probably has a lot of flavor, too, I'd imagine. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's nice to bones. sip. And you can make your own as well. It's apple cider vinegar added to the boiling water that helps to pull the things out of oh, the, really? the okay. animal bones. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. And, and next up, there's a bunch of different packages here. So what, what's in this section that you, you grouped for us? So um, last year was really the year of bulletproof coffee. Yeah. Yes. And so that was where you had grass-fed butter blended into coffee. Totally. So the trend is just increasing where, what else can we put in our coffee? Right? So these are a bunch of different, mostly mushroom based elixirs with superfoods. Oh, and you would put this you in your bulletproof in, coffee? Well, you, or your bulletproof coffee, or um, you can put coconut butter or coconut sure, oil into sure. the coffee. You can also do it with tea, or Dandy Blend is a super uh, delicious coffee substitute. So the That's bulletproof coffee. coffee I've had is the grain fed butter mm -hmm. and coconut. Grass fed butter. Or sorry, yeah. grass fed butter uh, and coconut oil and like really, really, really strong coffee. Mm -hmm. So you're saying I can kick it up even more from that? There's some really Tasty elixirs that have a lot of interesting superfoods cool. that are good for immunity and energy and mood balancing. And Speaking all that of superfoods, uh, kefir is getting a lot of chat right now. And, and so, how is this different than yogurt? So, kefir has um, bacteria and yeasts and, and, yeast. and okay. um, other constituents in there yeah. that aren't in yogurt. And there's just more of a variety of them. Yogurt will often have, you know, two or three strains, whereas kefir can have upwards of, you know, a few different. Uh, a bunch you know, 20, 30 a bunch different them, yeah. kinds of... Um, and, and just and going down the line here, what, what, what do we have? So I had brought tempeh, which yeah. is uh, fermented soybeans. Okay. Um, and miso. This one is particu in particular is made from fermented chickpeas. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a local yogurt. Yeah. These are true pickles. What do you so, mean by true pickles? So all of these things here you'll find in the fridge. Yeah. Because when something's fermented, it does make it more easily digestible. Mm -hmm. But um, once it's been pasteurized, it doesn't have active cultures anymore. So in order for it to not be pasteurized, it needs to be kept in the fridge. So you're going to find those, those uh, real health benefits of, from fermented products that are in the fridge. There you go. And this is a sauerkraut, a yeah. beet sauerkraut. And this is, of course, the kombucha that kombucha. everyone's been Cameraman trying. Aaron, who's behind one of the cameras here, he's a big kombucha guy. Cheers. That's what he plans <laughs> to drink during the Super Bowl this weekend, he's been saying. Okay, so if people want to find out about Amaranth quickly, how do they do that? Uh, we have our website, with yeah. amaranthfoods.ca, mm -hmm. where you can find us on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. And we have information on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much for the information. Uh, bulletproof coffee, Andy. Have you had